Hi, this is Eric Sloof over at NTPro.nl and in this video I'm going to show you an awesome new virtual appliance. An appliance created by the one and only Carter Shanklin. And he created an appliance which is able to create latency, bandwidth problems and dropped packets. Cool. So when you hop over to CarterShanklin.com you will see an article called the Wenatronic. 10001 an extremely simple one emulator and this cool virtual appliance can be used within your vSphere environment or under workstation to create uh, uh, as if there's a very bad network connection between you and the other side and um, I already created an OVF file of the virtual appliance and the OVF file is running in my vSphere environment. So I want to show you some testing I've done with this cool Wenatronic 10001. That's the way I have to pronounce it. It's in the article. So Wenatronic 10001. So let's hop over to the VM client connected to my domain controller. And uh, I'm running a ping. And let's hop over to the Wenatronic 1000. And uh, you see here that it's running, it's configured with DHCP, the one I have uploaded to screencast is using an E1000 Intel adapter and it will automatically get an IP address through DHCP and you can use this menu, this simple menu to configure the bandwidth, you can configure packet delay, you can configure delay variance and you can configure packet loss. In this case there's no problem. I got a clean 100 Mbit connection available. But when I'm going to look at my ping, I see that my pings are doing 4 or 5 milliseconds. Sometimes I have a bit more latency, but it's, it's mostly introduced by my wireless connection. When I'm going to my Windows machine, I see a straight ping of 1 milliseconds. Also, I'm running an Internet Explorer right here. And the Internet Explorer is configured at the local host. But when you put a request to the, to, the, to the virtual appliance, it will automatically bounce back the request. And the request will uh, land on the machine where it was initiated. What do I mean with that? When I'm going to uh, my Internet Explorer and I'm putting in the IP address 127.0.0, dot one I will wind up on my home page and when I'm going to the address that is configured for the virtual appliance one nine two one six eight one seven eight two two five I will be landing on the same page. I created a large test dot html file and in fact it's it's an ISO of Windows XP and um when I'm putting that address in you see that the HTML file is filled with the complete ISO contents of the Windows install image. So let's stop this for a while. Uh, it is really quick. So after a few minutes, the complete ISO is downloaded in your browser. Let's create some trouble in paradise and let's hop over to our Wenatronic 10001. And first start with create some bandwidth problems. So when I'm going to put the bandwidth on 10 Mbit instead of 100 Mbit, I'm going to create some latency in the delay of the package, 10 milliseconds, a variance of 5 milliseconds, and 1% one lo one loss. Okay. So when I'm going to look at my ping from my local laptop, you will immediately see that uh, I'm jumping to 26, 27, 30 milliseconds. When I'm going to the virtual appliance uh, for the local traffic, even though uh, this virtual machine is in the same vSphere environment, you see that the variance is doing uh, a nice job and you see it jumping from 10 to 30 milliseconds. And when I'm going to my Internet Explorer and I'm going to browse for the test ATM file, then uh, it it's far more difficult to download the file right now. Yeah, you don't see any speed readers here, but you, I did some tests and uh, it will become very problematic to get the whole file on your host. So 
this is a real cool virtual appliance the Wenatronic 10001 and you see even here you see the packet loss introduced with a, a, a timed out so the packet is indeed lost and if you are writing applications which can be used on the internet or you are wondering if your application is also functioning at the same speed on the other end and you want to introduce some latency but the latency must be uh, a real internet latency not a static latency then this virtual appliance created by Carter Shankling is your friend the Wenatronic 10001 okay Eric Sloof is signing off have fun with it and uh, keep on watching those cool videos bye bye